Hi everybody, welcome to Deb's Way, and I am Deb. And we're in my sewing room today, or my sewing corner. I should say sewing corner. Um, working on Quilt in a Day Pioneer Sampler by Eleanor Burns. And today is the day for me to work on the October block called Montana. Okay. I do have the material all cut out and I'll show you what I've got here so far. I've read through the directions and it, it seems to be a little bit more complicated than the other blocks that I've worked on so far. But you know what? Each month you kind of learn something new or repeat from before and add to it type of thing. And I think that's what this block is going to end up being too. We shall see. I am wondering, but anyway. We'll see what it turns out to be like. So, I looked ahead too. I have two more quilt blocks left to do of this sampler quilt. Um, let me show you November's coming up. I like this one. It's called Missouri Star. Yeah, I, I do like that one. December I did not look at yet, so I'm looking at it now. Okay, December, just giving you a heads up here. December is the last quilt block of this sampler series, and it's called Kentucky Chain. So, those are the two blocks that I have left to do after I finish October's, which I'm going to do today. I am going to do it today. <laughs> so, anyway, once again, it's the Montana block. Well, yeah, just Montana. Let's get working on it. Let me show you what I've got cut out so far. So this is my fabric to use for the October quilt block. And I have a 5 by 10 rectangle with my dark. This is a 1 and 7 eighths inch by a 4 and 7 eighths inch rectangle in the dark. Then I'm going to go to my first medium, and this is a, a 1 and 7 eighths by 21 inches strip. My second medium is the same, 1 and 7 eighths inch by 21 inch. And then my third medium here, I've got two of these, which are 1 and 7 eighths inches by 4 and a half inch, a rectangle strip. And then just a Um, a little, just a little one and seven eighths inch square. The first, second, and third medium. Okay. Then my light, of course, is this one. And this is the same. It's a five by ten rectangle shape in the light. Then I have to go to, let's see here, it's this one. These are two by three inch rectangles, and there's eight of them here. Okay. And then my last. Oh no, no, it's not my last light. I also have a one and seven eighths inch by four and a half inches strip. And then last are is two one and seven eighths inch squares. Okay, so these are all the pieces that I'm gonna put together for my October Montana block. Let's get started sewing. And actually, the first pieces I'm going to do are the biggest. Okay, oh, I have to press this down because it's kind of, you know, wrinkled, folded. So I'll get these pressed down and then sew them together, right sides together. Okay, so I'll bring you back when I'm at the machine or just a little bit after. I'll show you what I do. Okay, the first step I'm working with my um, 5 by 10 rectangles, my light and my dark, right sides together, and I am to actually more or less cut it in half at the 5 inch mark. So I have my partial ruler, it broke a long time ago, so I still use it. It's good.
Okay, so what I'm going to do next is, like I said, stitch along this blue line a quarter of an inch on each side on both of these squares. And then I'll be cutting them apart. So let me get them stitched. I've finished stitching here. I don't know if you can really see the stitches because it's light colored thread on light material and you can't really see it on this side either, but I have sewn a quarter of an inch on each side of that blue line, which makes it into this sort of, this block. So let me go press. I've finished stitching here. I don't know if you can really see the stitches because it's light colored thread on light material and you can't really see it on this side either, but I have sewn a quarter of an inch on each side of that blue line, which makes it into this sort of, this block. So let me go press, actually what I'm going to do is is cut these apart and press it open. Okay, and so I'll be making four separate blocks that look like that. And then I'll bring it back. Let me go press them open now. I have my squares all nicely pressed. Now the directions say to trim the squares into a four and a half inch square. So let me get that going here. Tails cut off and everything kind of neatened up a little bit. Let me do the rest of the squares. All right, I got my squares here all evened up. And now I'm just gonna set those aside. They're all pressed and trimmed and ready to go when I need them again. The next thing I'm gonna work on is my, let me get it. I'm gonna, I'm going to be working with my rectangle pieces here, the dark color. They're one and seven eighths inch by four and seven eighths inches. And what I'm going to do is fold it in half and press it and then come back and on the wrong side the directions say to mark a dot at the center crease. Okay. A quarter of an inch from the top edge. I'm assuming it must mean here. Well, let me get these pressed in half here first. It says to do it lengthwise, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'll bring it back. I'm going to share with you the directions here. Um, sometimes they're a little bit difficult to understand. <laughs> but, and, and that happens when, you know, the person that does the sewing understands what they're doing, but they use maybe the wrong wordage to describe what they need to have done. Now when it says to fold it in half lengthwise, this is lengthwise to me, okay? And I creased it, but it doesn't work out to fold it this way with what you have to do next. So what I'm thinking is the directions should more or less say fold the rectangle in half as such. Now how they'd show that in the picture, I don't know. I, what would you say? Fold it in half widthwise, fold the rectangle in half. I mean, whatever, but I think this is what they mean to do because my next step is to go to the wrong side of the material, put a dot a quarter of an inch down, and draw lines to each corner from there on each of these rectangles. So let me get that done and I'll bring it back. Alright, so far what I conclude is that 
I've got right sides together here, my dark and my light. I've matched this corner to like the tip of the dot that I drew a quarter of an inch down from the top on the dark. And the other end of the line I drew on the dark ends on the light material down this way. And the light material is diagonal. And that's what it looks like. Now I'm supposed to stitch along the blue line. So let me do the first side here and see what that turns out to be like. I tell you the directions to me are not 100% clear. So I can understand why, let's see, I believe the gal's name was Cindy who contacted me several months ago, said that she was working on this same uh, quilt sampler and had trouble with this particular block. Well, I can understand very much why there was such a, a confusion. It is very confusing. And we'll see if I have this even figured out right. I'm not sure. But I'm going to do all my strips like that. And when I'm finished with this first one, I do another light triangle on the other side here. And we'll see what it turns out to be like, okay? I'll bring you back when I'm all finished and we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> I may be redoing this. I don't know. Well, these are the pieces I come up with and the directions say not to trim it up. Okay. But I would think you're going to trim down here like a quarter of an inch or no, I would think you're going to square it up pretty much. I guess I'll find out more later. I don't know. <laughs> and we'll see if this works. But for right now, I'm putting those aside because this is exactly what it looks like in the book. If, if this is squared up though, I mean this is trimmed up quite a bit, but these directions say go ahead and press it, but um, you don't square it up. Do not square up these pieces. So okay, I'm not going to. Um, the next uh, step I'm moving on to the 21 inch strips, which is my medium, my second medium, and my first medium. So I'll be putting those together, right sides together, and it says to sew a seam. It does not say what size seam, but it's typically a quarter of an inch, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. It actually says, sew 21 inch medium strips right sides together, press the seams towards the second medium. Okay. Um, so the patches, which, okay, these four things that I just did, these are considered the patches. So it says to sew the patches to the first medium side of strip leaving about a quarter of an inch between the patches. Okay, there in the picture there's a little bit of a gap. Well, it actually says it's supposed to be about a quarter of an inch. Press the seams towards the strip and cut apart. So, okie dokie, I'm going to be doing that. So let me sew these strips, my long strips together here, and get it pressed, and I'll bring it back. I've got my two 21 inch strips sewn together and pressed towards the second medium, which would be the, the darker, which would be the darker pink. Next, the directions say to sew the patches, which is this little bugger, to the first medium, which would be this light floral fabric, and leave about a quarter of an inch gap in between. So it would be sewn together, right sides together, and it would it would look something like this okay but why did it say not to trim it how can I make it look even it doesn't make sense it said not to trim it up but okay I'm kinda thinking about making a major decision here about trimming them up it's supposed to be a quarter of an inch apart all the way down like this down the strip so let me get sewing all right, I did finish my four patches here, sewing it onto my first, my first and second medium, and leaving about a quarter of an inch in between each patch here. I pressed it up, 
and now it says to cut you know along your quarter inch allowance there and then square these up to a four let's see what it was it uh, four and a half inch square with the peak of your patch being at the center at two and a quarter inches so let me do that and I'll bring it back all right I have my well these squares all taken care of okay I think it turned out okay we'll see as we go on but uh, this little what they call it a patch was very difficult to understand the directions on so we'll see how it goes as I progress but for right now these squares are done so I'm putting that aside and the next thing I'm going to work on is four and a half inch strip and the medium strips where are they medium strips medium strips hmm. okay let me go find my other strips here and see what I need to do in this next step I'm going to be sewing two of these four and a half inch rectangles these two together with this four and a half inch light rectangle okay and then I'm also going to be taking these little squares these are how, how big are they these little squares these little squares are one and seven eighths inches so I have two light and one medium and I'm going to be sewing them together like this so let me do that get it all pressed and I'll bring you back okay so what I'm working with is this block that I sewed the three strips together and I have this rectangle piece here all sewn ready to go too. This is going to be the center of the center block. Does that make sense? Okay. <laughs> Out of this block I need to cut two strips that are one and seven eighths inches wide. Okay, so that's even there. Let me get to one and seven eighths. I have the center piece all finished. This is what it looks like. And I've got it pressed. Oh, not too good though, so I'll have to redo that a little bit. That's the centerpiece all finished and all pressed. I'm going to start laying out the different blocks here and show you how it's going to be put together. All right, this is what it's going to look like and when it's all sewn together. I've got it in the shape it should be. And what I'm going to do is take from the center row here and move it over to this block so that so all of these together going right to left press this and then come back and do the same thing move from right to left down the row to finish it so let me get that worked and I'll bring you back after I have it all pressed up and finished Well, I finished the October block. This is the piece. Okay. And I have two more to go, which I showed you earlier. November and December, and then that's it. I've done this for a whole year. <laughs> it's been quite a project. And I've taken you along with me every single month, so hey. I do have projects lined up for when I do finish this quilt, so stick around. There will be more sewing. I'm not an expert sewer or sewist by any means, but um, I like to play around with it. And of course I have my new machine here that I enjoy playing with. I love this machine. Once again, it's, let me show you. It is a Brother Enovis Model BQ. 1350 and it's part of the quilt club series. This is my early Christmas present to me. It's beautiful and it it just it works like a dream. So I'm really very very pleased with it. So stay tuned for more sewing and experimenting because I'll be doing some more. But until then, you all take care out there. Have a good one, and I'll be talking to you again real soon.
but it's going to be bye for this time and I got to go hang up my new block. It's going on the quilt wall over here. So next time you see it, it will be displayed on the wall.